What is up, fellow G fans? King Ghost Fan to those two here, and today I am here with another video. Yes, on the same day. Um, so yeah. Um, today I'll be doing a tour review, and I haven't done one of those in a very long time. And it will be on the figure that I got at G Fest 23. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys saw it on the second day dealer's room vlog video that I put out eight months ago. Um, but yes, without further ado, let me show you the figure that I will be reviewing today. It is the 50th Memorial Box Godzilla 1962. And my god, this figure is just absolutely beautiful. It's so nice to have in hand and see in person. Oh my god, man. Like, I'm, I feel so privileged to have this figure in my collection because you have no idea how rare this figure is. Um, I'll be covering that in today's video, but, um, oh man, this figure, uh, where do I begin first? Where do I begin? Alright, I'm just gonna tell you the backstory of this figure that I got, um, I got it at GFest 23 for $125. I've seen this figure go for much higher than that, so, I kinda got lucky there. Um, a lot of people like to, um, a lot of people claim that this is the best 50th Memorial Box figure that came out of that set that Bandai made. Um, but others argue that the 1964 figure is actually better than this one, but uh, we'll have to see. But I'm not covering that figure because I don't have it. We're going to be talking about this guy right here. So, um, yeah. Uh... Alright, where do I begin first? Alright, I'm going to begin with the history of this guy. Like, the actual suit or incarnation, not the figure. Um, this suit only appears once in the Godzilla franchise, and that is Toho's King Kong vs. Godzilla 1962, or Godzilla vs. King Kong, whatever you want to call it. Um... But, yeah, this figure, I mean, this suit only appears once in the franchise ever. And, um, I don't know why, but also it might have been because it's not a very popular suit. I'm, I may be wrong there, but it's, to me it's a little derpy, and the figure captures that in the face pretty well. Um, yes, Godzilla and King Kong battle it out. Basically, they bring King Kong to Tokyo. No, they bring him to Japan. To battle Godzilla because Godzilla has awoken from the icy prison that um, the army trapped him in and Godzilla raised again. And he wreaks a rampage. And um, they, yes, like I said, they bring King Kong to try and stop him. So, um, yeah, Godzilla and King Kong fight each other. Uh, Godzilla wins the first battle. And then they get the um, climactic battle at the end of the movie. And people claim that King Kong has won the movie, but I don't know. I don't know. And that was the last time we saw this suit ever in the Godzilla franchise. So, now we're on to the actual review. Let's get on to the um, articulation. Let's go articulation first. So, the articulation on this figure. Um, it's just standard Godzilla articulation for a memorial box figure. Um... You have the arms moving 360. You got to be careful because if you don't move them like to the side, it's going to scratch the thighs and you don't want that to happen because it might ruin the figure's paint. So just move it to the side and it'll, move, and it'll um, rotate fluidly. See, you got to do it for both. Uh, there you go. Uh, bring them up. Legs can rotate 360 just fine, smoothly. And then, of course, you got the standard glue seal for every 50th Memorial Box figure. Yeah, tail cannot rotate because of the glue seal that is right here. If you can see that. Um, and no head, to, um, no head articulation, sadly. It would have looked weird on this figure anyway, so I'm actually kind of glad they didn't add that. So, um, yeah, that's it for its articulation. Four points of articulation. Not not bad, but not that great either, but who cares? It's just a really awesome figure. The figure's sculpt just takes away from the, um, limited articulation. Um, 
Oh, all right, alrighty. So, uh, let's get on to detail. Uh, so detail on this figure, absolutely amazing. Kind of ca captures the way the suit looked, because it has all these ridges on its knee. You can see that, like as if the suit actor was walking in the actual suit. And um, he also has a lot of ridges, bumps, and um, dinosaur scales all underneath his tail. They even detailed the foot, which is, oh, that's a plus, that's a plus. If you could see those ridges up there near the toenails. And he also has these little tiny details near, like, the figure information where it says Toho 1962, Bandai 2003, Made in China, whatever. Uh, inside the mouth. Uh, the mouth doesn't really have that much detail, but who cares? It's more about on the outside of this figure. They also got captured the spines really well. And even the spines have these little details all over them. It's really cool. Uh, I could feel them. Um, uh, and now the paint job of this figure also um, contrasts really well with the detail. Um, this figure is a, uh, I don't want to say, like a dark, really dark lime green color. It's weird. Um, I, I don't know if it's movie accurate or not, but kind of is. I remember him being a little bit green in that movie, but that's how all the memorial box figures are. They all have like this, um, sort of green tint to them. Um, yeah, so his body's green all over underneath the tail, too. And then once you get to, like, the toenail area, it's going to turn into, like, a dark yellow goldish color on the toenails. Um, and then inside the mouth, they painted it, like, a maroon burgundy color. Really cool, really cool. And then, of course, the eyes are a macaroni and cheese yellow color. So yeah, uh, now I'm going to bring out some figures to size them with, so just hold on for a minute. Alrighty, so now that I am back, I've gotten the figures um, that I'm going to be scaling them with. This is just in case you want to do like a fan film, if you already have this figure, or if you're looking forward to getting this figure. Uh, so yeah. Um, let me take out the monsters that I'm going to be scaling them with. Alright. So first up, I'm going to compare him to the monster that he fights in the movie. It's not, sadly, I don't have the actual, um, King Kong incarnation that he fights. But it's close enough. It's the Peter Jackson King Kong, um, 2005 King Kong. So hold on real quick. Alright, guys, sorry for that little interruption. Somebody called me. But yes, yeah, so, um, as I was saying, this is a 2005 King Kong. Uh, they do match up pretty well. I remember Godzilla being slightly taller than um, King Kong in the film. King Kong was, I believe, 45 meters, and Godzilla was 50, of course, in the show series. So yes, this is really accurate if you want to do a, God a remake of the movie. Um... Because the, the memorial box figure is slightly taller than the Kong figure, as you see. So, perfect. Um, I might actually do that, matter of fact. Next, I'll size him up with the Banner Creations figure. The Banner Creations Godzilla 1954, or first Godzilla. Uh, yeah, these go pr pretty good together. They're this, they, they have a similar sculpt, like the fat thighs and then like a bulky... Fat, chubby, I don't know, just a chubby belly. And yeah, um, they size really well with each other. They're, they're about the same size. So, yeah, I like that, actually. I like that pairing. I don't know, it looks cool. And then I'll compare him to a Ultraman monster, my favorite Ultraman monster. Max, the 2005 Max Gamora. Also really cool, if you want to do a little throwback movie of these two, either fighting or teaming up. 
Yes, um, the memorial box figure is also slightly taller. That's kind of weird. All these figures that I've paired him up with so far, he's either taller than them or, um, some, what's it called? Just the same size. And that's weird because he's normally kind of small compared to others. And then I'll bring up the King Ghidorah figure, the pink tag release. I don't know. It, it depends if you want to do this. Um, as we all know, King this version of King Ghidorah in specific would be like um, way bigger. But hey, if this is a show of Ghidorah, it could be like this. Eh, is it? Eh, they don't really go well together. But um, yes, um, we're about to wrap up this video. Uh, what's the one thing? Oh yeah, rarity. This figure is extremely rare. If you find this figure for a decent amount of price, you better jump on that and snag the figure as quick as possible. Uh, yeah, you better get it ASAP because um, these will sell really quick, especially at G Fest. Um, I'd say a good price to buy this figure would be like 125 and down. Maybe 150 if it's like in perfect condition or whatever. But um Oh man, this figure is extremely rare. You can barely even find these on eBay or Amazon. I don't think they even have them on Amazon right now or eBay. Um they probably have it for like $200 on there. Um which I don't recommend unless you really want this figure that much. Um I did get it with the card, but I don't feel like bringing it bringing the card out. So yes, I got it for 125 with the card. Um if you see it for a good price, as I said before, get it. Um just buy it. Um So um yes, that is it for this review. I give this figure a 10 out of 10. Um, simply from just it being from the memorial box, and it um does not it lives up to the hype. Um, go get it immediately if you can find this. And um yes, that is it for this video. Kingo Chan 2002 signing out. See y'all next time.